All right, welcome back. We're going to start with first opening up Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS 5.1, which is the sub subscription service. Um, my CS4 version stopped working and I haven't worked it out, so I moved to doing um, working with CS 5.1 for 45 bucks a month hopefully I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for the new version of CS6 to come out let me reset reset pain workspace there we go right now I'm gonna change my swatches Place color swatches with the swatches. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a color swatch I found online, and I wanted to really give it a try. Think of more. Of awesome color wheel all right so here we go what are we working on today this right here is a uh, character I'm wor I created and been working on different versions and I, this is the one I'm gonna go with right here So let's get started. Now I'm just using basic brushes. I'm not going to use any custom brushes. So this is what comes with CS5. So that's all we're going to use to ink this. And then we're going to do a color of this section right here. Okay, so the video is, I'm speeding up the video. I'm probably going to end up doing this in two parts. And uh, what we're starting with is the face. And we're using, again, like I said before, this is just a brush in Photoshop. It's not a custom brush. You know, we're not, we, custom brushes are like way down the line. When you want to start making your own brushes to get your own effects. But in CS5, this brush works really well for inking. So we're going to start out by using uh, this particular brush to get our thick and thins. To rotate the canvas, you use the R key. That's the hot key. Uh, you hold it down and then you spin it around. And at the top corner, there'll be a reset button if you hold the R key to get you back where you started. When you're using a tablet, it's good to use the rotation so that you can use draw draw from your elbow it makes it a whole lot easier especially when you're using a tablet if you don't have a Cintiq and you basically are just rotating your different curves to swing with your arm now this brush doesn't is uh, for I use for straight lines as you can tell it doesn't uh, go in and out and I switch back and forth between that brush and the thick and thin brush and for inking that's probably the only two brushes I ever use make those straight lines you hold down the shift key hit one point then you hit another point you get a straight line
again rotating the canvas swinging using the whole arm to get like these uh, great lines with pressure sensitivity on now not here because I'm using the uh, brush without pressure sensitivity to give you a, a consistent line and back to pressure sensitivity They're zooming in out the best way is to use the Z key and then move your mouse left or right and you'll zoom in and out now I am going to cheat um, when I'm making these circles I'm going over to uh, sketchbook pro uh, sketchbook pro has a, a I find to be an easier way to make ellipses as you can see right here and you just circle you follow your lips around rearrange it do it again very convenient so I switch back and forth between the two programs from time to time but there is a way I discovered uh, that you could do this in Photoshop and get those good ellipses and even though I like the sketchbook way better uh, it still works and you won't have to switch programs or if you don't have sketchbook you can uh, make perfect ellipses in Photoshop Now this layer is on top of all my other layers. You just put it at the very top and you name it whatever, ink layer or black line or however you want it. Again, using the shift key there make those straight lines and you don't have to you don't have to perfectly follow your underdrawing you know see if you you know if you like it keep it if you don't I'm going to change this part because I didn't like uh, the shoulder harness. I'm probably going to end up changing I think I end up changing it to something. I pull it from the, uh, yeah, I pull it from one of the other cod, the one of the uh, other references. Yeah, pull it over, put it on something, pull it over, bring it down, trace it over. Um, this is pretty much towards the end of the inking process. Um, Next is going to be, we're going to dive into coloring, so 
i will see you next time